Your seventh race field now leaving the paddock for the Max C. Hemp Memorial Final, ladies and gentlemen, for a purse of one hundred and seventy eight thousand seventy two dollars. Here are the starters for your seventh race. The one is Sandro Hanover, owned by George Leon of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Brian Sears will do the driving. The 1A is True North Hanover, owned by George Leon also. Ron Pierce will do the driving. Two, I've got what you need, owned by Southwind Farm, George Brennan. Three, Foolish Grin, Dennis Lane, Jack Parker, Jr., Four, Winback Speed, Edward Ercolani, Mickey Peterson, John Campbell. Five, Tough of the Toughest, done by Ray Schnitker, Kelts and Company, Bell Desaire, Tyshuda. The driver is Ray Schnitker. Six, Run Over Again, owned by Maller, Yandoli Jr., Spurlock, and Rancourt driver, Mike Simons. Seven, Tyron Hanover, J&J, &J, Como Jr. and Company, Joe Pavia Jr., the eight is Eagle Reel One, owned by Frank Detour. David Miller will round out the field. Seventh race field reaches the head of the backside for the Max C. Hemp Memorial Final. They're off and uh, pacing. True North Hanover is going to gun out of the gate here with Tough of the Toughest. Tough of the Toughest going to take no prisoners. True North Hanover dropping in. Sandro Hanover third. I've got what you need. Racing fourth. Fifth around the turn. Foolish Grin. Racing six. Win back speed on the outside. Seven. Eagle Reel one. Eight to the quarter mile. It's run over again. Tyron Hanover is the trailer. Tough of the Toughest going to cut it out here. That quarter was 20. Six and three fifths. Racing second, True North, Hanover, ready to come to the outside. Sandro, Hanover, third. Racing fourth here, I've got what you need. Out and rolling back there, Eagle Reel one. Hemmed in, Foolish Grin. Racing back there, win back speed. Your trailers to the half, run over again. And Tyron Hanover, Ray Schnitker, got the field here on the lines with the lead with Tough of the Toughest. Takes him to the half mile, 54 and two. Second panel, 27 and four fifths. Yes. Down the back side they go. Tyron Hanover on the front end here with the lead tough of the toughest. Outside attacking to the back side here. Sandro Hanover. Inside is True North Hanover. Back in line fourth. Foolish Grin on the outside fifth. I've got what you need. They are motoring to three quarters up here. Tough of the toughest. Three quarters. One. Twenty one and two. Round the turn they go with the lead up here on the front end. It is out with the lead. It is top of the toughest. It's still a length. Raising second there, Ronnie Pierce. Off the turn with True North Hanover. They come for the wire. Top of the toughest is motoring and stickers going to work. Trying to come to him. True North Hanover. Top of the toughest. True North Hanover. Deep stretch at the wire. Top of the toughest. 150. Two fists. And the winner circle at this time, ladies and gentlemen, the unofficial winner of race is seven, the five, tough of the toughest, a three-year-old colt by Better's Delight, owned by Ray Snitker, Kelks and Company, Frank Baldessere of New York, Pashuda of New Jersey, Paul Doherty did the training, and Ray Snitker did the driving here, and tough of the toughest was just that today, getting it done here on the engine in 150, and two-fifths winning the Maxi Hemp Memorial final here for the three-year-old colts.
We're here with Ray Schnitger, and uh, Ray, congratulations. Tough of the toughest was the toughest here this afternoon, and you told me uh, earlier this week that this horse was awfully tough and had one good brush. Yeah, he's got a lot of quick speed, kind of gets you right where you want to be, and uh, getting to the lead was very important in there with the entry. Just describe the race. Uh, talk about how it unfolded. Well, I popped the gate real good with him, and I had the lead, and I was kind of looking for Sears a little bit, but uh, when nobody come, I kind of got my own way, and... Uh, yeah, the front end kind of held up pretty good here today, so um, that's where I kind of wanted to be. And uh, you're only one tick off the track record. Oh, that's, I wish I would have got it, but uh, I, I like the first money anyways. <laughs> yeah, it's a big one for you and Paul Doherty. Yeah, it's a very nice win, and uh, actually uh, being uh, named after Max Hemp, uh, when I was a kid, he was very nice to me when I went to the farm when I was like 17, 18 years old, and I always remember that, so I wanted to win this race. Is that right? And then you won the Dexter Cup uh, the previous week. Yeah, it didn't get any better than that last week, the Dexter and then the elimination here all within a half hour. What's next? Uh, just a bunch of New York ciders, I think, and uh, the Trotters, they're basically got New Jersey ciders. But, uh, you know, uh, they'll be going every week, though, somewhere. You've been doing good here with that Mohegan Sun, too, at Pocono. No, oh, it's been a great place to race. Hopefully the first money goes up, and it'll be really good. Okay, Race Nitger, congratulations. A great win.